What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a daily tea for 10 8 of 2022. Um, this can resonate if you have any aspects of your chart sun, moon, rising, Venus, or no moon, hand, or Jupiter chart. Stuff with the basics, time is fluid, energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. Free general collective reading. Confirmation, my phone, by the way. Um, okay, so this is daily tea for 10 8 of 2022. I'm doing it pre recorded. I'll upload it here in a minute. Um, I'm pre recording it because it's not good messages. And um, I didn't want to get distracted with the chat when I delivered it. Um, so I've just pre recorded it. But, anyways, um, these are not good messages. Um, um, I had to pull over at a rest stop. Well, I didn't have to, but I chose to pull over at a rest stop at one point, and then one time I pulled over at a gas station to write these down. I have them over to the side. Um, the messages they're not good messages, man. I mean, they're just really not. So, but I'm going to offload them. Um, it's medical conditions and it's bad medical conditions. Somebody, <clears throat> black magic is backfiring and it's backfiring in a huge way. Um, and I did hear that from the spiritual realm that it is the cause of black, black magic backfiring. Now I had to look some of this up because y'all know I'm a nurse, but you know, just because I'm a nurse don't mean I'm, I know everything because that's just the damn truth. Especially, I mean, you can be whatever, whatever, and still not know everything in the damn world. You need refreshers and education and Google. And I mean, nobody knows everything. And that's just the truth. So I had to look some of this up because I would not, for, I, I've never had either one of these. So, um, nor do I want these. But whoever this is for, now, for, you know, I have like 14,500 some of you guys on my, um, on my, um, on my channel that I pull the energy in for. So I don't feel it's for you guys. I feel it's somebody you know or a dark arts individual that has brought this upon themselves. I feel for some, you might see this manifest in people or hear about this or see this in somebody. But only you know if you've been dabbling in dark arts or if somebody you're connected to has or has been or you're about to start seeing this. You plug it in how it resonates, but I did hear this is specifically because of backfiring of dark arts. I did hear that, okay? And it sounds like it's about to start backfiring pretty badly with these conditions, these symptoms, rather. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so, uh, okay, so the first one I heard, I heard it about three times and I pulled over and wrote it down because I didn't want to forget. I heard a masculine energy that has been very, sexually promiscuous in the past i heard he is secretly gay secretly closet gay and he's a masculine energy and i heard he has used heavy dark arts on children and adults in the past i heard sex magic and other dark arts i heard he's been very heavy into it but it is backfired i heard it is backfired i heard it's going to continue to backfire and one of the ways it's going to backfire apparently his boils are about to start appearing on his penis. Um, I heard it's going to cause, um, I heard he's, I didn't hear it was going to cause erectile dysfunction, but I heard he's had erectile dysfunction history in the past. It's going to continue. And he's about to start getting these boils on his penis. Boils on your penis? That's not normal. I mean, I'm just being serious. Um, I heard if he touches, I heard he is a pedophile, whoever this person is. It was very specific. I heard if he touches, this is when I was driving back home uh, early this morning. I heard if he touches a child, and I heard he has touch a touch, touched a child very inappropriately in the past. I heard if he does. Now, I don't know if that's insertion or molestation or what, what, what. But apparently he likes little children, like sexual, mental it, distortion um he likes children i think it's because he can easily manipulate them sexually or mentally or both but you plug in how it resonates but i heard if he touches a child um he will be exposed so i'm assuming if he touches a child with his penis because his penis he already has ed yeah. 
I'm assuming he doesn't take like Viagra or Cialis or something. I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear the specifics of that. But or if he touches a child, I'm assuming with his penis or touches a child inappropriately, he will be exposed. Um, and I'm assuming that's one of the ways that light magic is going to backfire too. He likes little kids, but I think it's because of mental manipulation and sexual manipulation. It's very sick and twisted behavior. Anyway, so I googled the boils on the penis because I just don't know. I've never been with anybody with boils on their penis. I don't have a penis, so I don't I don't know. So we're gonna read this. STDs can cause bumps, rashes, sores, or lesions, which can a person may easily confuse for minor skin conditions. STDs that cause pimple-like skin problems, including genital herpes, a viral infection that causes patches. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not the one I wanted to read. That's not the one I wanted to read. Okay, here it is. Okay. Bumps on the penis might be the appearance of Tyson glands, four dice, four dice spots, penile papules, or psoriasis. STDs like human papillomavirus H HPV, syphilis, and herpes may also cause bumps on the penis. So, I was trying to figure out why this person is about to start getting, I heard boils on his penis. Um, and if he touches a child, I think with his penis... Or inappropriately, I heard it's gonna, he will be exposed. But this is, the boils on his penis sounds like it's one of the manifestations of the black magic backfiring on him. Because you know, black magic, when people, those crazy asses um, manifest the black magic out into the universe, it can backfire on them. Because it always backfires, either a little bit or a lot. It can either backfire on them physically or mentally. Or it can backfire on other people around them. In this case, it sounds like it's about to backfire on him. It's a masculine energy. So I was trying to figure out why he was about to start getting boils on his penis, is what I'm trying to say. So I think it might be from, it might possibly be HPV, syphilis, or herpes, possibly, um, from the reading. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But some reason, I mean, he's, very highly promiscuous. He's secretly closet gay. He's a masculine energy. He's a black magic wielder. It sounds like a long history of black magic wielding. He's a he's a pedo. He's a purr. And he loves kitties. Mental mind, mental not mind manipulation. Likes to get up quick with the black magic. But it's now in the energetic space. It sounds like it's his turn for bad karma in the form of his ED. It sounds like it was already happened in the universe. And some kind of weird boils that are about to start occurring on his penile part. This is so disgusting. This is a huge reason why I love being celibate. And I have been for three years. And I won't go back. And that's just the truth. Um, you never know with people. This is disgusting. It's disgusting. So, I was like I said, I was trying to figure out why he was getting the boils on his penis. So, I think it might be possibly HPV, syphilis, or herpes. But he's about to start getting boils on his penis. I think he's considering manipulating a child for sex or molestation or something. Because there's a reason I got the spiritual download about if he touches a child, I'm assuming with his boiled penis, boils on his penis, he will be exposed. Hopefully the child gets some gumption and hopefully and they stand up for themselves and they're not so ashamed. Um, and they report it is what I'm assuming, but I, it doesn't sound, it sounds like he's considering touching children with the bulls on his penis and the erectile dysfunction. It doesn't sound like he's done it yet. If that makes sense. This is terrible. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. That was the first one. Now there was another one too. And I got this one twice when I was driving down and I got it again this morning, right before I clicked the camera on. Okay. So this one is. Um, I don't know if it's a man or a woman, but so I just, it was a, it was a vision, very, very, very short vision, very, very, very far away. And I don't know if it's a man or a woman. It was looking at a bathroom. You didn't see who was in the bathroom. So I don't know if it was a man or a woman, but it was looking like the door was like halfway open, but you could hear somebody in there. 
and you could hear hacking, like, ah, ah, ah. I mean, like, hacking, hacking, like they were dying. Like, it sounded like they were dying. And it went on for, like, 10 seconds, 5, 10 seconds. Then you hear somebody um, from the bathroom, who um, I don't know if it was a man or a woman, but um, it sounded kind of like a fem energy, but it could have been a masculine. I'm not sure. Saying, oh my God, there's blood in the toilet. Oh my God. I They were screaming. I'm coughing up blood and there's a lot of it. And then it shut off. So I don't know if that was man or a woman. I couldn't see the person in the bathroom. The door was halfway closed. So I looked that up too. Um, and we'll read from that. Okay. This is... This is, sounds like both of these are from Black Magic Backfiring. Heavy Black Magic Backfiring in the universe, period. So I feel for some of you guys, you know these people. I think you know Black Magic Wielders. I think you know Dark Arts Practitioners. I think somebody's been dealing with Dark Arts Practitioners, um, Hoodoo Voodoo Specialist, or they think they're specialists, and the shit, they're dabbling in some shit they don't even know could open up a big-ass bag of worms, and now it is basically, is what I'm feeling here. But you plug it in how it resonates. This is sick. Okay, so let me go to the other one. Okay, so I'm going to scroll it down. Now, obviously, I knew this one. I knew this one, TB infection. If um, that, could, that could be a symptom of coughing up a lot uh, of blood, TB. Tuberculosis for anybody who doesn't know what TB is. Internal injury. So, you know, something, uh, a serious internal injury inside of oneself, inside the body. Throat injury. And there's a medical term for that, too. Let me see if it's in here. I learned it in nursing school. It's the disruption inside the inside like the throat area the um trachea i'd have to look that up i used to remember i used to know the actual term of that it, that one is very serious rib cage injury collapsed lungs valve issues And that's very, very, very serious too. Um, valves, valve issues are, you know, valves, for anybody doesn't know, valves are inside of you. And um, you don't want your any valve issues. You, you just don't. That's not good. Severe lung infection like bronchiolitis, uh, COPD, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let's see. Stomach ulcers. I heard this was a lot of blood, by the way. Um, this person had a lot of anxiety, I'll tell you, in the um, vision. They had a lot of anxiety. And it was a lot of blood. It just wasn't like um, like a little bit. Like a blood tinged. It was a lot. Bronchitis, which I mentioned that one. Bronchiolitis, COPD, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let's see. Pneumonia, COPD, um, chronic obstructive pulmonary disorder for people who don't know what COPD is, illicit drug use such as crack cocaine, methamphetamine, typically smoke the substances through a glass pipe. The pipe produces very high temperatures in which the attic inhales into the lungs along with the smoke of the addictive, addictive substance. And it um, basically irritates the 
um, the the longs. Okay, that's it. Okay. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates, but both of these situations are from light magic backfiring. And I feel for, um, okay, so the first situation, they ha they're they pedophile. They're masculine energy. They're pedophile. They have sex addictions. That's the first one. The second one with the coughing up blood, I think they might have drug addictions, possibly. They might have drug addictions, but these are both light magic wielding situations, both of them. I think this one might be from drug addictions, possibly. I didn't hear it was. Or just backfiring in the form of a medical condition that's about to basically come out, manifest out in the universe in a very terrible way. I mean, I heard it was a lot of blood. I mean, it wasn't just a little blood, blood tinge. I'll see if I can channel in anything else regarding these. But those are the, those are what I was picking up coming back home. Somebody was really into the dark arts in the past. And they're about to pay for it in the form of their health, their own health. So the backfire, the light magic of the backfiring is manifesting out hugely. It's backfired in a huge way. And it's manifesting onto their own physical body now, their own health, their own being. The black magic is going to continue to backfire onto them. It has backfired onto other people in the past to warn them, to give them a spiritual warning to back off. They, they refused to do so, so now it's coming back upon them. Oh my God. This is terrible. Okay, so I heard the black magic has backfired in the past. These heavy black magic dark arts wielders. One of them is definitely masculine energy. This person I feel to be masculine or feminine. It's black. I heard it's backfired on two others around them in the past to give them a spiritual warning. I think they knew the black magic backfired upon other people around them in the past, but it, I heard it was done as a spiritual warning to warn them to quit doing it. But they refused to quit doing it. So since they refuse to quit doing it, the spiritual universe now, and the universe and spirit guides and spirit world is making it backfire upon them now because they refuse to quit doing it when they saw it manifest upon other people around them. Probably people they should care about in a loving, protecting way, not in abusing the spiritual realm and probably abusing other people kind of way is what I'm feeling. This is terrible. But they should have heeded the uh, warning in the past, and they refused to do so. All right, let's see. This has to do with money, too, and stolen money. And that's going to be resolved through many series of chain of events, too. Okay, I heard this has to do with money and stolen money. And for many series of chain of events, that will be resolved too. So, um, somebody in this mix, either one of these people or both of these people, somebody's got some stolen money. Uh, and I heard um, for many series of chain of events, that's about to be resolved too. I think somebody around these people or close to these people or somebody that connects with these people, they're about to see this manifest on these people. Um, I wonder if the coughing up blood is going to happen in a public place. I didn't hear that it was going to. But somehow, somebody's going to know about the penis boils. Um, you just don't go out unless you're going to the doctor or something and say, hey, I've got boils in my penis. Um, I'm just, I mean, I don't care how open you are. Even the most open people aren't going to, I presume, probably aren't going to go around saying that shit. That's just the truth. The coughing up blood, that's not something people would be proud about is what I'm saying. It's not something you would post out on Facebook um, or on social media. Hey, look, I'm coughing up blood and a lot of it. Woo! Sound like I'm going to uh, vacation on Fiji. It, to Fiji is what I'm saying. Um, that's terrible. But somehow people connected to these people are about to find these out. These are both very private things is what I'm saying. Uh, it's not something that you want to splay out to the universe. But somehow people are about to find out. And somehow at least one person or both people in this situation have stolen money. And I heard the many series of chain events. That's about to be resolved too. 
Spirit message this year. Abundant, stolen money. Beginnings. Number 38, 2 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 38 or 2 could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number in one's life. 38 or 2. An Aquarius is getting a huge wake-up call that they collaborated with the wrong people in the past. They were in a very dirty game, and they are get, they've already gotten out, and through many more series of chain of events, they're about to get out. They're about to help turn this around in a huge way and apprehend these people. These people are about to start getting very ill. Know this, Aquarius, very ill. And it's not going to quit. Holy crap. Okay, Aquarius. Um, if this is for you, Aquarius. You can be masculine, female, Aquarius. Have Aquarius any aspects of your charts. I've been pulling in heavy Aquarius energy in here recently. In fact, I, I've been for a while. But um, Okay, so you collaborated with these people in the past, Aquarius. Maybe to steal somebody's money or to, or maybe you taught them black magic or you black magic wielded with them or you knew about the black magic or the stolen money or both. Somehow you knew about something in this situation. Maybe, um, maybe you knew somebody was a pedophile. Maybe you knew all of this. I'm not sure. But you knew about something in this mix. And I think whoever you are, you helped create some of these series of chain events to help either their stolen money or the pedophilism, if that's even a word. I don't know if it is. Or um, something else. I'm not sure. But I heard you want out. I heard you've already created a series of chain events to get yourself out. And you're going to create more series of chain events to get yourself out. So that's good, Aquarius. You can be masculine if you have Aquarius and have any aspects of Aquarius in your chart. That's good. Getting out of this bullshit. Yeah. Because it's about to go badly for these people. I, I think you're highly intuitive and you already know that. That's why you're already trying to get out of the bullshit. And that's a fucking lootly. But it's about to get worse for these people. I don't feel you're these people. Um, for some, you could be, but I don't feel you are. I think you help somebody steal somebody's money. Or you help somebody get with the kid. Or, because we have pedophilism in here, if that's even a word. Or what have you, what have you. I mean, I'm not sure. Only you know what you had a dirty hand in, not anybody else. But you also know it's not good to be in this shit. And I heard it's not from the spiritual universe. I heard you've already created a series of chain events to get yourself out, and you're going to create more. Meaning, you don't want to be in this hot mess express because it is a hot mess that's express. It just is for real, for real, for real. Who would want to be in this bullshit? <clears throat> not I, said the little red hen. And apparently not you either. You sound very smart, but you shouldn't have ever got yourself into the middle of this bullshit to begin with. And I heard it's just going to get worse for these people. I heard you're actually about to turn it around on these people. So I think you're about to expose these people or expose the situation with these people or help create a series of chain of events and true justice for somebody else these people are oppositionally connected to possibly to thwart their evil, nasty intentions or something. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, Aquarius. But you're about to create new beginnings for yourself. I think it's going to create growth. But nobody should have been in this situation to begin with. Heard it was uh, about money. So there's a lot of stolen money in here. Well, maybe you can create a series of chain of events to get the money back to the rightful person or people. I don't know what series of chain of events you're about to create negatively against these people, Aquarius. Only you know that. But I will tell you, there's a lot of stolen money in here. There's somebody that's about to start coughing up. They've already started coughing up blood, about to start coughing up more of it. They have a serious medical condition or conditions. And it's just going to get worse. A lot worse. They may be on death sign bed soon. Seriously. Oh, my God. If they don't pass away, it's not going to be long. Oh, my God, this is terrible. Okay, so this one, I heard um, the coughing up blood, they may be on death sign bed soon. So, I mean, like, death angels coming or some shit. This is terrible. And I heard if they don't pass away, it's not going to be long. So, this person is very seriously medically ill. And if you're coughing up blood and a lot of it, your body needs a certain amount of blood to function and survive for anybody who doesn't know. You cough up too much of that or you bleed out too long, you die because you need blood. I.e., that's why we have blood transfusions in the universe, for anybody who doesn't know. This person, they're, they are mentally ill. They're mentally ill. 
They like set they like sex too much, heavy sex addictions, and they like children to mind manipulate them for sex, possibly. They're experiencing backfiring of sex magic over here. They're going to continue. This is sick. And they possibly have so stolen money. Somebody, One of these people has stolen money, if not both of them. If not other people connected to them that's got stolen money. They don't put positive into the universe. They don't help grow, manifest, and flourish our universe. They create negativity into the universe. Mind manipulating kids, manipulating people with sex, using sex magic, using dark arts, stolen money. I mean, who wants to be around the, those kind of people in the universe? Not I, said the little red hen. But I think you recognize this Aquarius, and that's why you want out. But you should have never been associated with it to begin with. Hopefully, you can help fix this hot mess express. Somehow, you're connected in this. Okay? Abundance. I think you might be abundant. Or these people are abundant off somebody's stolen money. Or maybe you're going to help get the abundance, the stolen money, back to the rightful owner or owners. Because you are significant in here, Aquarius. This, about, uh, this Aquarius is about to, they already ever regret getting involved with this. They're about to start creating many series, negative series of chain events for these people. Many. Set it back the way it should have been years ago. And a Pisces will be very upset with this Aquarius, but this Aquarius knows this and they don't care. Not anymore. Okay, so we have Pisces energy in here, too. Uh, I heard the Pisces is going to be upset with you, Aquarius. Mask up in Pisces. Um, that you're going to be basically be upset. At whoever you are, Aquarius, you're significant in here, I'll tell you that. I think you helped create this hot mess express in the past. But I think you've also realized that this was not the way it was supposed to go. It was man-made, man-forced, and all, a lot of behind-the-scenes shit. But now it's created negativity in the universe. This is not the way it should have went, naturally. But you're highly intuitive. You know this. But I also real think the reason you want to get out of it now is because you're seeing all this bullshit go down. Or you're about to. Or you're about to hear about it. And this isn't good shit. This isn't good shit. But these people deserve it. And I'm just being for real. But you're highly intuitive. So I heard you're going to help set it back the way it should have been years ago. So somebody man-made and man-forced all this stolen money and Try to force things with black magic. But now the black magic is backfiring. It's going to continue to backfire. But I think you know this. I think you're seeing this. Or you've already seen it. That's why you're going to help set it back. I heard the way it should have been years ago. And it has to do with money. One aspect in here. And you know this. But there's a Pisces somewhere over here. Now whoever this Pisces is. It could be a family member. It could be a neighbor. It could be... A baby mama, a lover, whoever the hell this person is. I heard a Pisces is going to be pissed that you're going to do this. I, but I heard you don't care. You already know it. You don't care. Obviously, this Pisces isn't good for you. They, isn't good, they aren't good for this situation. They aren't good for kids because we got kids in here. I don't blame you. I wouldn't care what the Pisces thinks anyways. And that's just the truth. So you're about to set some, uh, you're about to set the wheel back at the way it should have naturally uh, went years ago. Kudos to you, Aquarius. I wouldn't want to be involved in this bullshit. This is sick shit. Hashtag live free. And I hope these people actually get caught for like money, whatever the hell's going on here, whether it's money laundering or um, forged documents or um, identity theft or whatever the hell it's stolen inheritances or whatever the hell it is. I hope they actually get caught and they get charged criminally for this shit. Because they need to learn a lesson in the universe that you can't alter documents, forge documents, alter documentation, mind, mind manipulate minors, have sex with minors. You can't do that shit. There's laws set in the universe for a reason, to apprehend criminals for reasons, not to do behind the scenes shit to get away with your dirty ass crimes. Think it's going to create new beginnings for you, Aquarius? 
and create growth here and growth for the situation because whoever got the money stolen from and somebody's wanting to use kids as pawns and kids as collateral and mind fuck kids and possibly physically do sexual things to kids i mean that's sick that is sick in the head it really is and somebody needs to learn some lessons they already are in the spiritual realm they're about two more and i'm just being for real you have to plug these people in how they resonate aquarius this person definitely is a masculine energy this can be a man or a woman you can be a man or a woman all right i love you guys so much everybody have a good day i hope this helped and namaste